This video shows a selection of severe rainfall events from around the globe between July and October 2004. It uses information provided by the DAPA CLIP project. This project uses satellite data from UMETSAT's Climate Monitoring SAF as well as weather stations to create a combined daily overview of rainfall across the globe. This data is global, not restricted to day or night. The colours, green and red, are where you can see the most intense rainfall. So we're going to take a journey now moving eastwards around the world. We start our journey travelling over the Arabian Sea towards the Bay of Bengal. So here, over the Indian subcontinent, you can see the heavy monsoon rains shown here in red and green. Leaving the monsoon, we travel east across the Pacific to the central United States. So here we can see a cluster of storms bringing heavy rain to the Ohio Valley. You can also see in the Western Atlantic, the storm system there bringing rain, but that'll be over the Atlantic. And you'll also be able to see the dry areas where there's no rain. We fly far east now just to see how the monsoon has developed since we saw it earlier in the year. You can see the great extent of the rain here covering the whole Indian subcontinent region. This rain is very, very intense and where it causes flooding that often leads to localised issues and in this case many thousands of people were displaced. So travelling east back over to the eastern seaboard of the United States where the hurricane season is now in progress. Here you can see Hurricane Charlie starting out, travels across Cuba. This was the most destructive storm in the US for 12 years as it picked up all of that energy as it travelled across the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. So we travel from the storms in the US to storms in Europe and here flooding in Boscastle in the southwest of the UK. We were previously in the Atlantic for the hurricane season. We now move over to the China Seas where Typhoon Era is just about to move from Taiwan into the Chinese mainland. Typhoon Era dies away and Super Typhoon Shaba develops, striking the southern parts of Japan. So we see rain here in China, which causes landslides in this case, and Typhoon Songa, which develops and brings heavy rain across the entirety of Japan. We travel now back over towards the Gulf of Mexico, where you can see Hurricane Ivan just approaching the US, picking up energy as it travels across the Gulf of Mexico. At the same time, there's a second storm traveling across the Caribbean, Hurricane Jean. That's going to get held up by Hurricane Ivan, which is now traveling across the US, back into the Atlantic, and now looping back a little bit south. Hurricane Jean develops at the same time and will come in and hit Florida later on in the period. So we leave the Atlantic hurricane season and we travel back to Japan and China seas. Here we see Typhoon Ma'on, which was known in the West as Roli, a Category 5 or Super Typhoon Storm. It hits the south of Japan and then travels north. While that storm is travelling across Japan, there's a second storm developing in the southern part of the image. That storm becomes Typhoon Takage. This storm grows intensely and covers the entirety of Japan. So we travel now across the world to Europe where we can see the ongoing summer storms bringing rain to some areas of Europe and you'll see the dry areas of Europe as well. So we finish our journey by taking a zoom out and having a look at the whole earth over Africa. This data is really important in understanding how the world's rainfall patterns are and how they change over time. By having such data from satellites, meteorologists can gain a really solid understanding of how the whole world's climate is and how it changes. 